the art directorate of EZRTD. And I'm going to present you a topic on next generation sequencing and the S for routine diagnosis. It's about an innovation procurement, more specifically a pre-commercial procurement because there are some developments to be done. For this, we have a budget of 40 million, which will allow to support more than one project. And the deadline for this topic is 15 April 2019. The challenge is that we uh, identify a shift to uh, NGS approach in diagnostics. The advantage of NGS is that it allows to consider simultaneously different actionable mutations, but there are some uh, uh, difficulties uh, to implement NGS in clinical practice. It is hampered by various factors such as the, the cost, it's quite expensive, the availability of tests, insufficient quality assurance because it has to meet some uh, requirements for clinical uh, diagnosis, Technolo technological bias, and complex interpretation of data. The scope of the topic is uh, to implement NGS in routine diagnosis for personalized medicine. I insist on this. Uh, different diseases can be considered, but personalized medicine has to be uh, addressed properly. And also to scale up demand-driven innovation for healthcare systems. So it has really to uh, meet the needs of healthcare systems. This should also include organizational, economical, technical, and clinical aspects. These different things should be really developed in the proposal. And the proposal should also consider standards, quality assurance, data issues, and ethics. Standards and quality assurance is another important element as there are a lot of diagnostics error in practice due to poor quality assurance of diagnostics. The expected impact of this topic is to have at the end new NGS platforms for diagnosis in routine. So we expect to have this in clinical laboratories the second impact we expect is to have standards and quality assurance schemes developed and implemented in Europe. We also um, hope that this topic will allow and contribute to the implementation of personalized medicine. It should contribute also to the sustainability of healthcare systems. For the moment, if you have multiple diagnostics tests it can be very expensive, so one of the interests of this topic is to reduce costs. And last but not least, the topic should benefit the European industry and, in particular, European SMEs. Thank you.